It's Wednesday, November 5th, 2014. I'm Justin Hunt. This is DX Daily. Up first, Big Chris spoke with Montreality about being underrated in comparison to Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole. Here's a clip. James? It's one of those things where I've just kind of learned I'm always going to have to prove myself musically. The difference between me and a lot of these artists is that I can produce not only for myself but for other people. I write all my lyrics. I don't really need a writer like that. I mix all my own shit down. So that ensures that I'm going to be around a long time. You feel me? Big Crit's Catalactica will be available for purchase on November 11th. Next, this is funny. Murder slash Pastor slash Mace rocked nearly the exact opposite of a sold out show in London recently. The internet snickered once news spread that the former bad boy artist performed in front of less than 50 people at the Indigo. Unfortunately, one of those tossing darts was Foxy Brown. Foxy dropped this image on Instagram with the caption, God don't like ugly. Zing. Now, ironically, Foxy was scheduled to perform that night along with Mace, but she was a no-show. At least Mace showed up. Wrapping up, DJ Speed stopped through DXHQ and listed a series of releases from former NWA members, including Ice Cube, Ren, Yella, and Dr. Dre coming in 2015. Roll the clip, James. He's, he's, right now, he's, he's really motivated, so people are gonna be surprised. He got some shit coming out. <laughs> so you think Dre's actually gonna release some music? Oh yeah, not detox. You, know, you guys can let that go. Detox. Yeah, detox has been there for two years, <laughs> but he definitely has been in the studio. He's definitely releasing music. Not this year, but I think next year is going to be a big NWA year. Because I honestly feel, and I think that's what he's doing. I think Q kind of even pushing his album to next year because he doesn't really talk about it too much no more. Like at first it was really hot, but then I think I think he's going to push his next year too. Ran has an album coming out next year. Yellow working on something. I got a couple of release songs I'm about to throw out there. <laughs> Who's on the NWA? I'm be I, got the NWA. N I got the NWA. I got the song Just Don't Buy That. I got the original version that we couldn't get cleared. It was a Herbie Hancock sample. They called, that was the funniest story. They called him, wanted to get it cleared. He said no, like literally two seconds into the song. Just Don't Buy That. It's Herbie Hancock. He was like, fuck no. <laughs> not letting you put my beat over this. You talking about some bitch sucking your dick? That's not going to happen. But I, I have that, and I have a song that I did like two years ago with uh with Rand. It's called Super West Coast, and we'll release that sometime next year. I like the way that sounds, but what do you think? What are the real chances Dr. Dre is releasing a project in 2015? Let us know in the comment section. Those are the day's most interesting hip hop headlines. Let us know what you think about in the comment section. And as always, for more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.